So this is the painting I did. This is the horse. And uh, as you can see, it's really pretty. It's nice. And I'm going to show you really easy techniques to do this, uh, painting this horse with acrylic paints. And I'm going to show you techniques that are pretty simple because a horse is not that easy to paint. I did this one on um, paper. As you can see, it's a mixed media paper. I'll show you the uh, front of it here. So, all you got to do is go by and look at how big it is too. Look at all the sheets. Isn't that fantastic? I think they're only like $20 for all these. You get lots of paintings out of them. Look, mixed media. I may have it on my website. I have a, a Amazon shop that you can go to. I'm pretty sure I have one of these in there. I'll, I'll look for it for you and I'll leave a link if you want to buy one of those on Amazon. And um, so I think we should get started painting. So let's work on this here. Okay, so I'm going to go with the orangey color again. I'm using a chiseled edge flat. Make sure it's nice and chiseled edged. Get some yellow and some red. Make kind of an orangey color. These are our highlights now, so you can use, you can go with three, you can go with uh, burnt sienna and the yellow and red. And you can use yellow for your highlights, even, even more highlights. So those are the colors that you can work with. So take your chiseled edge and start dragging. Leave the top dark, okay? So that will be your shadows up there. So you're going to drag down these nice lines and you're going to skip over like we did before. Skip over some of the dark areas so you can save those, okay? Good. And then you just drag down. All right, so if you if you can't see it very well, that's only because we need a few extra highlights. Now, there we go. We'll have to go over that a few times. In order to get those highlights to stand out, you're going to need to go over it a few times. A couple little highlights down here, if you can see it. little down here just couple it on the edge there we don't need to do a big lot there just a bit of yellow and, and red but more yellow than red and we'll get that to stand right out all right good we want to highlight this here because um, we want to be able to see that darkness here so that's your, just move that around a little bit, just, just to get that as a highlight. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to darken this up a little bit more with some burnt umber. There we go, just on the edge there. That will straighten out the neck too if we got a couple of crooked lines there. Good. And if it's not dark enough, just add a little bit of black to your burnt umber. Just to get it really, really dark. Okay. Also under the chin here. Make it nice and dark, nice dark shadows. There we go. And with your chiseled edge, you can straighten up some of those lines also. So a bit of black and a bit of burnt umber just to get it really dark here in this corner. Good. Straighten out that strap there. All right. Now clean off your brush really good, just wipe it off in your tissue and take that black that you put in there and move it around a little bit. Good. But you want to still keep that light part there. See that light part underneath there? Keep that. Or maybe we'll, hang on now, maybe we'll line it up. We want to keep some of it, but we, let's try adding a little bit. Okay. 
want to lose that little highlight we got there because that's really nice. Alright. That's good. That's good. A bit over here. We're doing good. Some nice shadows there. Good. Good, good. I think. I think, I think. Um, see what else we need to do now. Just go back to your orange and red. And let's add a few more little highlights. Oops. <laughs> add a few more little highlights up here. But I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. Like I keep telling you, things are okay, you can fix them, change them around. Alright, there we go. Come down a little bit into the eye. Didn't mean come into the eye that much. I'll fool around too much now, I'll ruin it. So I don't like about redoing things when they're already done really nice. But I gotta be stubborn. So, just adding a few more highlights here. Because I found it looked a bit awkward. I'm coming down here because I just wanna add a few little highlights in here. That's okay, that won't be to here, it's just a highlight. Let's see, let's see. Just trying to get this down here a little bit more because I find it looks like it's... There we go. So I'm showing you this because I want you to see that, you know, you can be a little picky and it's good to be picky. There's nothing wrong with it, you know. You see I'm being picky and you, you can be picky too because you might say, why am I so picky? Because it's a painting and it's not as simple as you'd like it to be, even though I'm trying to make it as simple as I can. Good. There we go. It's starting to come together, isn't it? I think it is. So what we're going to use now is a liner brush. So let's use our liner brush with our yellow and red. And let's try to do some more highlights here with the liner brush that we get tinier hairs. You have to wet your brush, go ahead. This should be tinier. And you're centered now. You're trying to get your highlights more centered between the neck and the top. That's where the light is shining mostly around here in the center part. So your liner brush will give you all these nice little thin lines, see? You don't want to lose your darks in between, so just skip over some parts. So I'm just trying to get that to stand out there. Now, when I put the reference photo on my Patreon page, and you go to look at it, you might be better off just looking at my painting because the reference photo is not exactly the same as what I have here. But I will show it to you, for, but if you prefer, I think it would be much better if you just looked at my painting in that way and follow along with me. Um, if you try to get the same exact colors as the reference photo and the exact same lines everywhere, you might get frustrated. But I'm going to leave it there anyway. For, I'm going to put it there for you anyway because you might want to try it. You know, I don't know how experienced you are, so you might want to uh, give that a go. A few more little extra highlights here. If you're brand new, just follow along with me and you should be able to get the 
you know, some a good result. So you're only using three colours. So we'll leave it at that, right? Put a few little hairs in the ear. Can you see the ear? Okay, so put a few little hairs coming out of the ear here like this, little lines of hair. Horses here. So we'll put some of those on there. And over here. So if you can get your brush to work better than mine, that would be wonderful. Brushes can be really, really frustrating at times. They just won't do what you want them to do. You know what you want to do, but your brush won't let you. Sometimes that happens too. Okay, so, 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 so. It looks like there might be a little bit of a shadow back here. So like I said, when you look at the red, the reference photos or my painting, look where the shadows are. Find the shadows. If you have to put them in after, that's great. If you don't, you know, if you already got them there, that's good. So I'm thinking now we're getting pretty close to finishing off with a few small details and we're almost done. So, oh, sorry. Okay, so we have the highlights. If you need more highlights, just go back into your yellow and your red and put them on wherever you want them and and if you put on little tiny streaks like that then you will get some realistic here and you can use this technique also on portraits you know uh, human portraits so with here you can do the same thing do your basic color and then put your colors on top like we're doing here so there we go. Good. If you need more water, get more water. Get more water. There we go. Good. Just a little bit more of a highlight there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take our liner brush and we are going to go into our burnt umber and we're going to put some shadows, a little bit, not much, in between here because it's kind of bright and it, and it needs a little bit of shadow. So we'll just add a few of those just to separate them, give them a bit of separation. Might need a bit of water. Good. Don't need a big lap, but I'm just trying to get a few on there for you. But if you're happy with what you see and I go over something, and you don't want to, you don't have to, okay? Because the way I see things and the way you see things may be different. You know, you might say, well, you're the teacher and whatever you say goes. But that's not true. I can teach you the basics and I can tell you lots of things. But the final result and the final decisions are yours. Just as long as you know the basics, you can do amazing things. That's a bit better. Yeah, I toned it down a bit. It was a little bit too much of a blob for me. Okay, good. Next we'll work on the, the strap. Now the strap has a few shadows in it, so I'm just going to add a bit of um, burnt umber. You need to put a bit of black in it, you can. So I'm just going to make a couple of little 
tap on a couple of these little bumps. Okay, just watch. Touch. Now, to me, that's a bit too dark. So I'm just going to go again, probably add a little bit of burnt sienna to it to brighten it up a little tiny bit. So you can do anything while you're just using these three colors. It's not bad. Not bad. It's not exactly what I'm looking for, though. I'm going to go back to burnt umber. Sorry to confuse you. <laughs> but, you know, I'm trying to show you that you have to go back and forth to, to get what you like. Like, I don't want to just go ahead and do it and say, oh, that's the way you do it. That's it. That's how you do it. And you have to do it no other way, only that way. That's not true. So I'm going to take my brush and clean it off really good. And I'm going to just wipe over those a little bit just to soften them up. And just soften them up. And soften this one up. Just going to scrub them into the. And scrub them in a little bit. And I'm going to put a little more gray back. So you might need to go back and forth. A little more of that. A little more that gray back in here. There we go. It's a little better. A little better. Okay, now take your small liner brush and a bit of white. A little tiny brush, see? There it is. And use that to put on some highlights, okay? So just on the very edge of your strap okay so just add a few highlights and a bit of white here good and just, let's see where else right here i'm using my painting i did before to help me along Okay, that looks good there. And then we will add a bit of highlight on the edge here. All we have to do after this now is the background. Good. And a little bit of highlight here. That will straighten up some of the some of that strap there and a little bit of highlight let's go with a bit of a gray a light gray highlight for let's see let's see maybe here you just straighten it up a little bit so i'm just gonna fill it in a little bit Put a little bit of highlight there and here And inside here, and if it's too white, like I said, get the gray. And we're gonna get this highlighted here. And we're gonna highlight. These are all these little highlights. I'm gonna highlight the side over here. She was in this little tiny brush. So gray up your white a little tiny bit. We'll put a little highlight on the edge here. Okay. A little bit of grayish color. 
Peter. Good. So do a little bit of highlight on that lip here, and just on the top edge here. Good. And I think we have a little bit of a shadow down here, so I'm going to put in a little bit of burnt umber to give it that uh, shadowy look in this corner. So you pick them out as you go as you go through your painting. When you're working on that edge, you look for shadows. Okay. Nice shadow here. Fill in that spot there if you need to. All right, so we're getting there. We're getting there. All these little highlights help a lot. I'll put a little bit more of a highlight up here, I think. I don't see one of my other horse, but I think it'll look nice. There we go. I think it will look nice. Maybe a little bit here. I might be overdoing it now, so. If you don't like what I'm doing, if you're if you're saying, no, I got enough highlight, I'm not doing that, don't do it if you don't want to, okay? So I'm going to darken up this area down here. Just pick it out spots that I think need to be adjusted. That's all you have to do is go back over it and see what you need to do to adjust things. You know, these little details uh, really make it nice. You see anywhere else that you might need adjustments? I see one right here. You may have to look at this whole video before you even start to paint, and that way you'll see what I'm doing. That's usually what I do. I usually look at a, a, a video first, and then I'll look at it, and I will go through it uh, with the artist. I'll just look as and see what they're doing, and what brushes I need, and what paints, and get it all set up. And then I'll go back over the whole video again, and I will follow along. That's what I used to do when I was learning. And I still do it from time to time now too, depending on you know what what I like to try some new techniques or maybe I'll pick up something that I can teach. Good a little little bit there, a little highlight there, maybe a little highlight on the eye. Like I said, I might overdo it, but we'll see. Let's try a little bit of highlight just up here, not not right on top of the eye, but in that corner there. All right, good, and maybe a little bit down here. Kind of highlights the eye, brings the eye out, brings attention to the eye. You notice that? But that's not even in the reference photo. I'm just picking out a few things I want to do myself. Some white spots on there. If you end up getting extra paint on there or whatever, just take your brush, a little bit of brown paint, and bye, bye, bye. There we go. Let's take this dark one, take this mouth here, and darken up again. Some black, and then bring it right up around that edge there. Good. All right. If you find it too wide, you can just add a bit of burnt sienna. Put it down here to break to thin it out the way you want it. All right, blends that line together a bit better too. Good. Now see that white on the snout and the white on the head. Well, we don't want to leave that. That's the canvas white. But what I want to do with that is I want you to get a your. Um, you can get your filbert brush, a small one if you want, or a small flat brush. And I want you to take that white and add a little bit of, 
I don't know, let's say we can grey it up a little bit. Grey it up or put a little bit of blue on there if you want. So, we just want to get that colour. We just want to get that to look more natural. Okay, so it doesn't look natural. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of blue. And I'm going to take more white than blue. And I'm going to put that here. That way I can straighten out some of the... There we go. Take it, straighten it out. But you can barely see it, but yet it adds some shadow. And you can just go over that with that color. And I'll make it more realistic looking. Just put that in there. And down here too. Okay. So that'll, that'll make it more natural looking. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take pure white and add that in the center so that you don't have just pure gray. So you, you want to have your white. All right, and then some white down here. All right. And that makes it look more round. Or it gives it some shape. Just it gives it a more of a natural look, basically. There's a snout. So if you want more when that dries, you can add a bit more white to the center here. Because right now it's just picking up your gray color. Oops. Okay, good. So I think we will start on the background now. So I think it came up pretty nice. I put the background on, it would be really nice. That's the simplest way I could find to teach you how to do a horse and to, uh, you know, so that you could get a start on it and you can add more highlights to your horse. If you want to, you can add more highlights after I'm finished. It just takes some yellow and uh, a little bit of red. You can take a bit of white, but I don't know if I want to. A little bit of white, I guess. Yeah, for your final highlight, it might help. And you can just go back over that right in the center. In the center. And add a few more streaks of highlight. Look, see how it's bright now? But then once it dries, you can't even see it. Because that's how acrylic paints for you. But the more you layer it, the more you will be able to see it, okay? And also, if you want to, you can do the final highlights with oils. But I got another video on how you can paint oils over acrylics if you want it. Just let me know. Okay. Because I may not remember to put the link in the description. Alright, so that's just a nice little highlight there. See? That's pretty. See, it just gives it that nice little, little oomph to it. Good. Now we'll do our background. Now we'll do our background and uh, we'll use this brush here, but I don't want to dirty this one, so I'm going to use the dirty one. Okay? Same brush, just a bit messy. And what I'm doing for the background is I'm using yellow and green and red and white, okay? And I'm doing that because there's reds in the horse and the reds uh, and greens complement each other on the color wheel. So that's what we'll do. So we'll start out with some, uh, just tap into some yellow. And let's just put some yellow on there, okay? Now because that's wet, dip into some of your green 
and then start tapping in some green. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? All right, now take a chiseled edge brush so we can do the edges, okay? Flat chiseled edge brush. Good. Pick up the same colors of so green, a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow. And just tap on the edges here. When you get close to the horse, you may need to Pull. Okay, so that part in here is really tiny, so you might need a smaller brush. So just get that small round brush that we use. Get that small round brush. And tap that in here or get it in there somehow. All right. There we go. It's not bad. We got it. We got it. Makes it. How's that look? So we'll say, I'm going to call it finished. There's probably some stuff that you could do with it, but I think I'm going to call it finished. Um, you know, you can give me some comments in the comments below just to let me know what you thought of this painting and, and what you thought of. Uh, you know how I taught it. Uh, did I make it simple enough for you? If I didn't, let me know so I can even simplify it even more if I can. So just let me know what you think, your thoughts, and um, any other suggestions. I have several I still have to do, but I'll put you on my list if you have a suggestion what what you would like me to teach. So everybody, I will see you in the next video. Signing out from Alison Pryor. Happy painting, everybody.